Last weekend was actually San Diego Comic Con and how phenomenal was it? Now I'm stuck here in Ontario, Canada and I didn't get to go there or see anything and there were some a big, big announcements. Enough to keep me staying up till one or two o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time for sure. One of the big reveals though was the new Green Arrow costume. Now I'm here in a little bit of an arrow kick right now as I'll be showing off my new bow coming up along with some other great costume pieces and the boots and everything that I'm working on. And I can't wait to share those with you. And then of course seeing a brand new costume, props, everything like that was just phenomenal. One of my favorite series on television right now. Now a lot of people ask me what I think and it's really interesting. It's really different to see such a huge departure. Last time we were told we were getting a new costume really was just a, a jacket upgrade. The Arrow costume itself has actually evolved over time and season one had a very distinctive look and when season two came around there was only a very few minute details. It looked like the entire new costume uh, as far as construction was concerned, a new flechette holder and otherwise than that just the new bow. When season three came around we had Cisco from The Flash give him a brand new jacket with some new you know uh, gear from the shoulder pieces to the leg thigh pieces. Just, just little touches but basically the overall silhouette of the costume had remained the same from the cloth hood to the leather jacket and pants and of course the, the fabric leather quiver. Overall the entire costume from season one through three of Arrow have made very little change as far as they're concerned and that's why it was a huge surprise when Stephen Mal walked out on stage and introduced himself as the Green Arrow. Now this costume really does have shades of the new 52 costume as well as the kind of the small bow costume which actually it in itself influenced the new 52 costume and it looks really really cool. My very first impressions is that it looks very cool. There are some really interesting details from the black being kind of more textured. Um, it's definitely black and green as opposed to just all green as the previous versions and it has some really really cool details that I can't wait to look into more and to see more of but we have everything new here. Almost the entire costume is completely new. Actually is pretty much all new. Uh, it's got a leather hood now, brand new quiver holding brand new arrows, uh, the, even the boots have been redone but look like they're the same kind of running shoe type of boot which is kind of good because it's a lot more comfortable than combat boots let me tell you. And it's really cool I'm really excited and I hope these pictures for those of you who haven't really seen it yet or maybe even those who want to see a closer look it's pretty cool it's got some really really neat details really really interesting take on some of the little uh, evolution of the costume. There's still the kind of triangular arrow shapes all the way through it as well as the four screen color and just some new new details. Lots and lots of rivets by the looks of it but it's <laughs> overall it's pretty neat. One of the coolest things is that it actually carries on the same kind of shape on the hoodie or the hood aspect that Smallville even had. Smallville had like a yellow swirl on the Justin Harley costume and now Stephen Mount has this kind of uh, arrow shape on his head. The only thing it's really missing is a big G on its buckle. So there you go, the season four costume of Arrow, of actually Green Arrow. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. You like it, you don't like it. Um, you know, comments, maybe some things you noticed that I haven't noticed yet in the costume. I have a big list started though. Be sure to subscribe here if you wanted to keep the rest of my videos. I have more Green Arrow ones upcoming will be my Green Arrow bow, which I'm gonna link right here. So be sure you keep up that and click here if you wanna check out my season one bow. You know, just thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and I hope you've enjoyed this kind of excited video post of mine, but uh, Thanks for watching.